हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज मनु एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक ऑन दिस चैनल एंड यस यू आर करेक्ट दिस वीडियो इज ऑन द हाउ टू मेक योर हैंड सैनिटाइजर एंड स्ट्रिक्टली वी विल बी फॉलोइंग द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंस्ट्रक्शंस नो सेल्फ लर्निंग नो सेल्फ एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन वी विल स्ट्रिक्टली गो बाय गो हाउ टू मेक हैंड सैनिटाइजर बाय डब्ल्यू एच फॉर्मुलेशन so some of my viewers might be thinking that why i made or why i am making this video again so friends i want to tell you there are so many viewers across the globe and this is the pandemic of coronavirus covid 19 and everyone is requiring a hand sanitizer for themselves and as well as for their family member and the same thing happened to me also and there is a utmost Uh, shortage of uh, hand sanitizer in the market although uh, washing with soap is perfectly fine but uh, we have several occasion that we cannot carry soap and water along with us so in that case we are using uh, hand sanitizer and killing those uh, harmful microorganism bacteria and viruses which can be very deteriorating to our health so many subscribers and viewers are suggesting me that the content is all right but they are not able to understand it because the video i made is in the hindi language which is my mother or mother language or national language so but this is the time of uh, a crisis and this is the time of uh, cooperation with each other so therefore i decided to make this video again in english so that each and everyone not only in this country different states of country different part of uh, of my country but also the different uh, countries of the group because the second uh, important question which i also usually asked uh, uh, when i watch any video that why should i watch uh, video of this guy this particular guy so the same question may arise in your mind who is this guy and uh, who is making this video and uh, how is so confident so uh, here I, i want to introduce and i would like to take opportunity to introduce myself in front of you that uh, uh, my education is in chemical science chemistry and uh, i have been graduated post graduated and further Uh, uh my doctorate phd and then post doctorate is in is in chemical science chemistry so all these my education the my training in research and chemical sciences allow me to uh, handle and understand the content and uh, uh therefore i come up and, and 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 thought that i should share all this content in simple language Uh, which is not very much simpler to a common one and those who are not studying the chemical science chemistry so guys yes uh, i am dr manu vasist and let's begin our tutorial this is not a fun this is a important one so you go step by step i will now next i will go to my my board chalk and board where i will tell you what ingredients strictly you are requiring and what strict instructions you have to follow and you go that by that and you will have a very efficient very perfect hand sanitizer for you and your family in case you have any trouble just let me know and drop down the message i will be most happy to help anyone so let's go and start our small lecture which is very important which is going to be very important for everyone let's go so yes uh, this is my board and which i am going to teach you So first, I will request you to take some paper and pen, or some notebook and some 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 pen, so that you can not you should not miss something which you should be having for making hand sanitizer. And uh, this all I just borrowed from WHO document, which you can find yourself on Google. Just type that uh, 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 hand rub formulation or alcohol-based hand rub formulation. So you will get it on internet, but. just to make it easy simpler i just uh, did some calculation which i am going to tell you okay let's start our lecture small lecture so uh, 
WHO has recommended alcohol based formulation, uh, hand drop formulation. There are two methods, two formulation has been suggested by WHO and both are alcohol based and this is formulation A and the other one is formulation B. So for A formulation, first we will be uh, discussing about A formulation. So just you note down first what chemicals ingredients you require. Number one you require ethyl alcohol which is commonly known as ethanol yeah ethanol and you should be careful its purity should be 98 to 99 percent pure when you will buy just you just look at it 98 to 99 percent otherwise it will be difficult to have again a calculation for making perfect uh, formulation the second ingredient you will be requiring hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide you will be requiring and uh, its purity or the percentage you required is 3% and there are different percentages available of hydrogen peroxide so in most of the cases it is it comes in the bottle of 30% 50% 20% but whatever it is it is in general you will get the uh, hydrogen peroxide of 30% so in that case you have to 10 time dilute it which i already did it so in case you will have a, a, a formulation hydrogen peroxide you will be requiring 21 ml but in that case you will be requiring 2.1 ml only when you are using 30 percent of hydrogen peroxide in case you are directly using three percent and you are lucky enough to to get the formula the hydrogen peroxide which has in having a three percentage then there is no problem then you can directly use 21 ml okay and the third third ingredient is glycerin and its purity required is 98 percent and the fourth one is distilled water or deionized water which you can buy from any shop or uh, anywhere so these are four ingredients ethyl alcohol number one hydrogen peroxide number two glycerin number three and distilled water and the purity i have given here uh, and, and and the volume required volume required you will have some some measuring apparatus with you some cups or some plastic uh, measurement cup which you, you can use it which is gradually mark and you just take it 417 ml of ethyl alcohol into it and in case you will have a 400 16 415 or 418 or 419 you don't need to bother much because it is near about same and you will take approximately 417 ml of ethyl alcohol having purity 98 to 99 percent you just take it and pour it uh, in in some in, in some plastic container no metal container should be used because there is a possibility of some reaction but in case you use plastic uh, polypropylene container then that is that, that are perfectly fine and you just add hydrogen peroxide uh, which is 3% you will add it 21 ml and you add you have to add drop by drop drop by drop drop by drop of uh, hydrogen peroxide into uh, ethyl alcohol which you have taken just mix it swirl it okay in, in 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 your in your plastic container and then you eat, add glycerin so glycerin is little viscous and uh, there is uh, no problem at all and you just take directly 8 ml 8 ml of it if you will combine all these three 417 21 and 8 the sum will come up as uh, 446 ml we have to make up we have to make up uh, this uh, as uh, uh, 500 ml so what what we will do we will add 54 ml of distilled water into it so the total volume of the formulation will come as 500 ml 500 ml so this method uh, formulation a i am giving just to make 500 ml of hand sanitizer which is ethyl alcohol based okay all right and after that the final percentage will be 80 percent 
80 percent. Yes, WHO recommends 80 percent of alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Second, there are some misconceptions that uh, you can add aloe vera gel or some gelling agent into it and which is not at all as per the guideline of WHO so therefore you should not add it any until unless there is no scientific study and which is not interfering the effectiveness of hand sanitizer. Second misconception what I realized or find on internet that just to make more exotic, just to make it more soothy, the people are using, people are recommending themselves just to add some some uh, fragrance uh, causing substance into it just you will feel very good very nice but again i am telling you if you read the document who do not promote the addition of uh, uh, fragrance causing compounds no gel until unless it is not well scientifically studies and it do not cause any interference in the effectiveness of hand sanitizer so we will go we are going strictly whatever people are doing let them do but we will be following the sanitizer hand sanitizer which is WHO recommendation based so finally you will have a 80 percent of uh, uh, of your uh, uh, hand sanitizer ethyl alcohol based and which is very effective in killing microorganisms bacteria and viruses ethyl alcohol is the guy which will kill all the cell walls of bacteria and and just remove break down all things which makes bacteria or microorganism life it will kill them hydrogen peroxide is what if you are using some water or, or the bottles which has some con con kind of fungal infection or the pre-stored or pre-infected spores microorganism it will kill them and that's why and glycerin the role of Glycerin is very important. It is act as a humidifier or amulet. It means it will nourish, nourish your uh, uh, skin, and it do not feel very dry because we are using alcohol. So that why the use of glycerin is just to make your skin smooth. And this will water. You know that it should not uh, any problem. So this is the thing. You can prepare very easily. You will go any chemist shop or any pharmacist shop and get all these things maybe but try to get as much as pure as possible so that you will get uh, uh, you can make hand sanitizer for you and your family and now let's step so friends uh, uh, this is the hand sanitizer i have made uh, for me and my family and this is the 100 ml of spray bottle you can pour it in different spray bottle or any other plastic bottle and you can get uh, the spray there is a rubbing method you just suggest it this way and two three second two three second this way just round the fingers around the palm and then your thumb both the thumb and that way you will uh, have uh, your sanitized hand with you I hope uh, I may justify with the content in case not, please, uh, I will take uh, uh, apology from you. So this is it. Keep maintaining social distancing. Okay, just be at home. Be safe. Use <laughs> uh, soap and water each time you go out. Just wash your hands for 20 seconds. Just I showed. And then in case you don't have... Uh, access to water and soap in that case you just always carry hand sanitizer with you but it should be effective remember no gel no scent only effective hand sanitizer so this is me your friend okay bye take care of you and your ones i hope every will this pandemic will go very soon and we will be enjoying bye take care